you guys and welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel my name is Amanda Marie and over here I love to discuss all things fragrances so if you're someone that is into smelling good I would love for you to hit that subscribe button I know I like to reminisce I like to travel back in time especially when I'm looking at my collections and so about two years ago I started a series called why don't we talk about these fragrances anymore so that's what today's video is going to be i think i'm on episode nine or ten i can't remember i do understand that fragrance with everything else like fashion and things of that nature change over time you know they improve they get better you know, what's hot today ain't going to be hot tomorrow like I get it. You know? For me, for me, it doesn't mean that the fragrance is still not good. Like there are some fragrances that I have in my collection that I feel like will never get old. Those type of fragrances are like artwork. They just still hold value especially in my collection i can only speak for what's in my collection also been thinking about how fragrance has really become that it girl like you cannot even now your favorite influencers uh, are talking about fashions whether they're lifestyle whether they're fashion whether they're in makeup like literally fragrance has become that it girl and everybody wants to get a piece of her and I just remember when I started my channel, uh, Fradcom was not that big. I didn't even know Fradcom existed, to be honest with you. I never knew there was such a thing as Fradcom. For those of you who's not familiar with that term, Fradcom means fragrance community. And so when I started back in the end of 2019, just randomly putting up a video, of course, I follow a lot of influences at that time mostly makeup um i was really into my makeup bag back then um and once i put up my video i realized that it was a small community of fragrance influences that were on youtube and so i went down that rabbit hole child i was buying stuff during covid girl the ups man was showing up at my house literally like every other day it was crazy and a lot of fragrances got super hyped up and talked about and nobody talks about them anymore everyone has like moved on to the newest latest hot fragrance so that's why I create these type of videos just to go back down memory lane and maybe some of you have these fragrances in your collection you might want to pull them out one day so without further ado let's get into why don't we talk about these fragrances anymore okay so this first fragrance that i pulled out i was being very intentional with it because back in the day 2019 2020 this fragrance was very very popular and it was talked about amongst a lot of my favorite fragrance influencers um at the time now the reason why i pulled it out is because Cirque du Soleil released a new fragrance and it's called Eau de Parfum Cirque du Soleil and in that fragrance it has a note of popcorn now rarely 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 if ever do I run across a perfume with the note of popcorn and so I was thinking I was like hold on I got a fragrance in my collection that has a note of popcorn as well let's talk about it this is called Pure XS by Paco Raban, and here is what the bottle looks like it is a gorgeous bottle very unique with the little snake on it in the xs pure excess which the perfumer behind this fragrance is quinton beach and he's been uh talked about a lot lately because he is the nose behind uh Amwash guidance which is a really really beautiful fragrance in my opinion and very popular too okay so i like quentin beach's work now the two fragrances are really going to be different um in the note breakdown besides that note of popcorn and vanilla i'm sure there's vanilla and the Cirque du Soleil fragrance but in this fragrance you have popcorn, vanilla, ylang ylang, coconut, peach, orange blossom, white musk, amberwood, and bread which is like musk 
and you have sandalwood. I am going to give her a little bit of a spray because it's been a while. A spray, nice sprayer. And I like Paco Rabanne fragrances. This is really pretty, by the way. I'm going to put this on the shelf because I really need to wear this. This is pretty. Now, hmm. Now, I get that buttery popcorn immediately in the opening. It smells like a true popcorn smell. After that, I then pick up the vanilla. I pick up the lang lang I pick up the coconut. So, this fragrance is coming off more tropical, if, if anything, to me. It smells sweet. I get the peach. I get the 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 woody notes in the in the base, but yeah, it's coming off like a tropical fragrance, like vacation in a bottle. This is what you would want to wear during the summertime. Even though the juice is it brown, I don't know if it's brown or not. I'm thinking it is brown. It may be brown now because it has a vanilla in it, and you guys know when vanilla oxidizes, it turns brown okay but it still smells good it still smells like the day i opened the box and first sprayed it i haven't smelled the cirque du soleil fragrance but from the reviews that i've seen it's really good and it's definitely like giving gourmand so if you're into gourmand you probably would love that i think in that fragrance there's a popcorn note i think there is cotton candy and apple and things like that so i'm thinking that it's brighter than this this is coming off a little bit more dense a little bit more thick but in my mind i could imagine that the cirque du soleil fragrance is a little brighter maybe a little airier um and definitely giving sweet but this is giving sweet as well in my opinion i think that this is a really pretty scent i'm gonna put it on the shelf and i'm gonna wear it because it needs to be worn like this smells really really good dang i give it a, a strong eight out of ten it smells good again this is pure xs by paco raban okay this next one i pulled out because i saw amrezy talk about this fragrance and if y'all don't know who amrezy is if you are a makeup girly you know who amrezy is amrezy was part of the whole makeup crew from back in the day. We'll be talking about like 2015, maybe 2014. But y'all know the makeup girlies that were on YouTube. She was a part of that era. And I follow her on Instagram and she was doing a get ready with me and she pulled out Amo Ferragamo. Girl, I my jaw dropped. I was like, oh, I haven't seen that fragrance in forever, girl. This is it. This is Amo Ferragamo. This was talked about so much back in the day, okay? Yeah, when I first started my channel, everybody talked about this fragrance. This fragrance, you can find, if you were lucky, you can find it at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. You can't really find it at them places anymore because, girl, at, at one point, I thought the fragrance was discontinued. I ain't even gonna lie. And it very might well be. You know, they, somebody just may have a supply of it somewhere. But somewhere down the road, people stopped talking about it. It got, it wasn't popular anymore. There was no buzz behind it. But yeah, when I saw her talk about it on her Instagram, it was like a blast from the past, girl. I had to pull this out. In this fragrance, you have Capri, you have Blackcurrant, Rosemary. In the middle, you have Rhubarb, Jasmine Sandbag, Mate or Matt. It looks like some type of seed. It could be a musk or something like that. In the base, you have Tahitian Vanilla and Broxen and Sandalwood to give her a spray i did spray this the other day this is one of the prettiest vanilla scents ever i don't know why my top is kind of like malfunctioned or whatever but y'all when i tell you this is one of the prettiest fragrances ever prettiest vanilla fragrances ever okay and i feel like the reason why i stopped pulling for this 
is because I thought it was discontinued. Or was it because I couldn't find it in TJ Maxx or Marshalls? One of the two. I thought it was like, girl, gone forever. So I did not want to run through this. Like, I wanted to save it. But when I saw her talk about it, I instantly went on Amazon and they have them on Amazon. So yeah, they're still around. Camprey, or I believe that's how you pronounce it. It comes off smelling very uh, citrusy, like orange. So when you first smell this, this has a orange smell, but immediately that vanilla kicks in, it's sweet, it's creamy. It, it, people back in the day used to reference this fragrance as the orange creamsicle fragrance because that's exactly what it smells like, an orange creamsicle. It is sweet, it's decadent, it's yummy, it's delicious, honey. She's all the things. And now that I know I can get it on Amazon, I might as well go ahead and, and, and knock this bottle out, okay? Because, yeah, man, this smells good. So now I know what Ambrizi smells like. And I'm just at awe that she bought this fragrance. She probably don't even know that this fragrance has been around as long as it has, to be honest with you. Like, she probably don't even care. All she care about is the fact that it smells good. And that's how I am, too. I don't care that these most of my fragrances have been around since the 99s and the 2000s listen as long as i'm smelling good that's the only thing that matters and a lot of people when i wear my older fragrances they don't know what i'm wearing so it's old to me but new to you okay period i pulled this one out because i wanted to talk about a fragrance that most of you probably do have in your collection right now it used to be very very hyped up people don't talk about it as much anymore but to me this fragrance is beautiful. It, I feel like I would never lose the love for this fragrance. I think it is very versatile. I feel like I can wear it for any and every occasion. I can wear it to work. It smells very feminine, very sweet, very pretty. She's just that girl. She's that girl. Yeah, I really should have this in a bigger bottle. No, no, I don't. I don't need this in a bigger bottle. I need to use what I have. But this is Donna, born in Roma by Valentino and I'm sure that some of y'all watching this video right now have this perfume sitting on your vanity sitting on your dresser I hope they're not sitting in your bathroom because your perfumes should not be in your bathroom okay due to the hot steamy showers and whatnot okay but yeah I'm not even going to spray this because I know what she smells like She's sweet, she's warm, she's boozy. There's jasmine here, there's bourbon vanilla, and I am a sucker for some bourbon vanilla. I like anything boozy, to be honest with you, in fragrance. But yeah, this is, this is pretty. Like, this is just a really classy, feminine scent. I feel like anybody can wear this, no matter the age. Um, anybody can wear this. It's just a really pretty, feminine fragrance that to me has this classy touch that will never go away in my opinion and I just love it oh so much um, but I wanted to talk about it because I really don't hear too many people talk about this fragrance and I just feel like would this be in my top 10 for life <sighs> that's a good question like I don't know I really don't know I mean I would repurchase this for sure. Would it be top 10 for life? That's a, that's really hard for me to say because I have so many fragrances. But yeah, I would buy this over and over and over again for sure. Now, I pulled this next fragrance out because this is actually my second bottle. And I don't know why I bought this big ass bottle. I should have just got a regular size bottle, like a one ounce or something. But no, I had to go buy the big one. So the reason why I pulled this fragrance out because it was it's very reminiscent for me right now. I stopped doing this because I have so many fragrances and I don't want to limit my fragrances. But I used to uh, switch out my fragrances with the uh, seasons. So for instance, I would put up my wintertime fragrances and pull out my spring fragrances 
and so forth and so on again i have stopped doing that because i just have so many fragrances in my collection they need to be worn really whenever i feel like wearing them but i pulled out versace euros perfume and look how big this bottle is like girl why this bottle is huge ridiculous i should have just was was it because i got a good deal on it i think it's because i got a good deal on this fragrance that's why i bought it but right, we're gonna give her a spray man she still smells so lovely oh she smells so good very sophisticated very classy a little there's like some musk in here let's get into the notes and who made this Okay, Alberto Morales, uh, Oliver Crest, two of my faves, and Natalie Lorson. I don't know her. But in this fragrance, you have Sicilian Lemon, you have Pomegranate, you have uh, Calabarin Bergamot. In the middle, you have Lemon Blossom, Jasmine Sandback, Jasmine Peony. In the base, you have Musk, and Broxen, Woody Notes, and Sandalwood. Oh my goodness. Oh, this smells like the classiest woman ever. Have y'all ever just met a woman and she just, everything about her is classy. From her hair to her makeup to her wardrobe. Like this lady puts time and effort in her look, her appearance. She's just so well put together. You know what I'm saying? Like... That is what this smells like. It smells like a well put together woman. Like it's just bad, okay? Ooh, man, I love it. I love the citrusy notes. I love the jasmine in here, which I'm not the biggest fan. Jasmine, I feel like I'm coming around. I'm coming around to jasmine because I feel like I smell it so much in fragrances. Um, the peony in here is beautiful. So it's definitely giving that like a, a musky, somewhat sweet white floral with the woody notes that Ambroxan is giving it almost like a, a your skin but better type of smell. Y'all know Ambroxan is a synthetic note that they add to fragrances to create that that uh, like your sun, your skin out in the sun, you know, or like your, like I like to call it like your boyfriend's t-shirt type of smell, like a natural skin scent smell. That's Ambroxan, right? And I get it in this. Ooh, ooh, it's just, oh, this is so reminiscent to me. This is like, girl, this, and you know, I, the one thing I love about fragrance you can create memories with fragrances and this fragrance I have the best memory of and it's really sad when I have a when I wear a fragrance that I love and something happens and there's a memory a bad memory attached to the fragrance like oh it puts me in I get so sad when that happens like I really do I have to get over it because I'm not getting rid of my fragrances but this is just, mm, it's just classy. It's a classy, classy fragrance. And I absolutely love it. Girl, do I have any room on the shelf? Any shelf? This is actually on the shelf right now. Um, this is also another fragrance from Paco Rabanne. This is Olympia Intense. I did not care for the um, original Olympia it was too much of something maybe too much ambergris in that fragrance it just uh, it didn't go with me at all and then of course later on they released olympia intense and when i smelled it i blind bought it uh, and i loved it it was love at first sniff for me i just love it this one has the same notes as the original but it just it just hit different in my opinion in this fragrance, you have vanilla, vanilla absolute, amber, white amber, you have salt, orange blossom, ambergris, white pepper, grapefruit blossom, and cedar. I'm still going to give her a little bit of a spray. Oh, this is pretty. 
this to me smells like a vacation in a bottle scent there is no coconut listed here like there's no coconut but I get this uh, I get a sea salt okay and the ambergris is really nice here if you're not familiar with ambergris it can come out smelling fishy and I don't, we don't do fish over here unless I'm frying it okay or baking it or putting it doing something sauteing it whatever but in fragrance, I don't like that ambergris. I don't like when the ambergris comes off smelling like a whale. Like, no, no, we're not doing that. But in here, it gives me the most natural sea scent, okay? A little aquatic, not necessarily... It could be, it could come off a little aquamarine as well. I'm not even going to lie to you, but in the best way ever. But I'm getting that beautiful vanilla. It's very sweet in my opinion. It's salty. It has this coconut smell to it. I don't know why, but very tropical-esque, okay? A beautiful ambergris and some woods. This smells like, like when I was a little girl, um, my my uh, mama used to take me to the beach down in Galveston when it was nice and it was my favorite thing to do in the whole wide world. We would even sometimes camp out at the beach. So I'm definitely like a beach girl. Like I love the beach. And this just reminds me of going in the water and then coming out and letting the sun like dry my skin and I'm left with this very gorgeous unique fresh like water scent that's what this smells like okay i don't want y'all to think it smells very oceanic because it doesn't smell oceanic at all it just smells like my skin after i've been in beach water that's what it smells like very very gorgeous very beautiful this is a lifer for me like when i run out of this and i have a nice dent here I want to say this one is discontinued. Don't quote me on that. If you know, put it down in the comments. But I feel like that is why I have been nursing this fragrance. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think it's discontinued. But I do have some other options that give me the same feels that this fragrance does. Ornament by Afnan. And back in the day, I want to say 20, 2021, something like that, when uh, Fumi Mune got on TikTok, she talked about Afnan. I blind bought it, and instantly when I smelled it, I was like, oh, this smells like Olympia Intense. I was immediately happy because, again, at the time, this was hard for me to find. Even on the discount websites, it was hard for me to find. So I do have an alternative here. You can get this one on Amazon um, for the low. When I tell you they smell identical, the Olympia Intense may be a little richer, okay? A little bit sweeter in my opinion, but they are spot on duping, okay? Spot on in my opinion. Okay, another fragrance that gives me the vibes as these other two is going to be by Roberto Cavalli and I don't know if y'all can see the name but I think this is just regular Roberto Cavalli okay I found this one at TJ Maxx another blind buy when I was blind buying okay I don't I really try not to blind buy that much anymore because fragrances have gotten crazy expensive so I try not to blind buy but yeah when I first smelled this it gave me the vibes of these two Okay, I'm just going to spray a little bit in the air. Yeah. Not necessarily spot on, spot on. It does have this rich vanilla, ambery um, the vibe to it that I feel like is reminiscent of these two. All of the fragrances that I just mentioned in this video, I would definitely repurchase. Well, let me think. Okay, I may not repurchase the Roberto Cavalli. It's a it's a beautiful scent, really pretty, feminine. Um, I may not repurchase that one. I would, but all the other ones I would definitely repurchase. I think they're all really 
great fragrances okay so if you get lucky and you go into your local tj maxx or marshall's and you find any of the fragrances that i talked about girls snatch them up especially that amo by ferragamo snatch that one up immediately but if you can't find it you can always find it on amazon but again i think all of these fragrances are pretty damn good if you have any of the fragrances that i mentioned in this video please comment down below let me know what you think about them let me know if y'all still rocking any of the fragrances if you have them or are they just sitting up in the corner collecting dust honey let me know if you are into fragrances i would love for you to subscribe hit that subscribe button okay turn on your notification bells that way you'll be notified every time I upload a video and you don't miss out. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button on your way out. It is super important for the growth of my channel and I would appreciate it so much. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you are having a fabulous day and I hope you are smelling good doing it. I will see you in the next video. Bye.